Hello YouTube, Jonathan Buford here again doing my weekly video on things to help people that are going nomadic, digital nomadic. So for this week I'm doing a small review on this book called A Smarter Way to Learn HTML and CSS. This is how I'm learning to code right now. I'm using this and teamtreehouse.com online. And the wonderful thing about this book is that it has like 90 chapters, so it's broken up in about, you know, in very small chunks. The chapters build on each other. They don't assume that you know anything about coding, which is good for me. Helps me to build my confidence. A lot of this is just hard work and building your confidence over time with stuff, it seems like. Uh, what else is good about it? Um, the ch like I said, the chapters are short. And it's about five or ten minutes of study for the chapter, and you'll go in to a text editor and put in some code. And it's super simple. And then you go online to his website and you do uh, a quiz. Uh, I guess I would call it a quiz. They're like exercises. There's 20 of them. And uh, over the last 10 or 11, I don't know how many chapters I've done, I haven't gotten stuck once. Just go back to the book, find the answer. It's it's um. It's not, it's not hard. It's actually, he makes it really, you know, he makes it easy to learn CSS and HTML. It's good. Uh, using repetition, I think, and just being able to work the exercises online is, is huge. I have Duckett's book on uh, HTML and CSS. I think that's the guy's name. It's a beautiful book. It's huge, but I barely cracked it. Uh, you know, I'm a visual person, but I'm using this right now because it's really helping me to drive home the core concepts of CSS and HTML. Um, yeah, there's a, you know, I also want to say there's no hangups with this. Like I haven't, you know, I haven't noticed any major cons at all whatsoever. I, I don't get stuck on the exercises. If you do them wrong, if you get the wrong answer, you can go back over and over until you get it. A lot of, a lot, um, and a lot of them he prompts you. So, um, yeah. You'll do the chapter, you'll read the chapter five, ten minutes, go on uh, your little text editor, add a few lines of code, if that many, and um, it builds gradually on your knowledge. So I'm using this along with Team Treehouse right now, and I'll probably go and um, do a review on Team Treehouse as well. I'm not an affiliate of either party. I'm just um, a satisfied customer of both ways to learn. And actually, when I get done with CSS and HTML, I'll probably move on to um, Mark Myers. Sorry, I should have started out with that. This guy's name is Mark Myers. And uh, it took him a year to put this stuff together. To do the coding, it took him over a year to put the uh, code exercises together. So after I get done with CSS and HTML, I'll probably move to uh, his book on JavaScript, which is the next language I want to learn. And I'm looking forward to that, especially because I have this. Wanted to do a quick shout out to a YouTuber named Real Tough Candy. She put together a video uh, talking about her struggles learning JavaScript. And um, she said that a smarter way to learn jo JavaScript by Mar Mark Myers was the backbone of what she was using to learn JavaScript after quitting and going back, quitting and going back like four or five, six times. So. Thank you, Real Tough Candy. I appreciate it. That definitely came uh, from five days of research. I'm glad I found that video because this book is helping me a lot. It's making it's making it doable for me in bite-sized chunks. So um, just a shout out to Real Tough Candy and all other YouTubers out there putting out great videos that help me so much when I need to find out how to do something in Excel or like what you know. How does Team Treehouse uh, measure up to like Lynda.com and all this other stuff? I did five days of research trying to find out which, which direction I should go. So hopefully one day this video will help other people who are on the same path as I am. So uh, I give this five stars. I rated it five stars on Amazon. It's probably only, I mean, probably the second thing I've rated on Amazon ever. I just don't do uh, reviews. So. Definitely give it a five star review. Uh, the book is worth it, without a doubt, in my opinion. Uh, that's about it. I hope you guys have a good day. And if you like the video, please click like down below. 
And if you would like to subscribe, please do that as well down below. And I wish you a good day. Bye-bye.